Hi everyone, Angela here. For this upcycle project, I'm using a pair of straight leg jeans that measure about nine inches across. First, cut away the hems on the bottom. On both sides, measure up about 27 and a half inches and then draw a line straight across. Cut through the line and then I'm cutting away the plain side seams without any top stitching. Line up all the edges, and from the folded edge, square a line straight across the bottom. Then from the very edge of this line, square another line straight up along the side. From the bottom of the folded edge, measure up 15 inches, and then draw a 2 inch line straight across. From this line, measure up 2 inches, and then draw a line 3 inches across. Join these two marks with a nice wide curve, and then cut out along the lines. Draw a 2 inch square on the bottom corner and cut out. Cut two of the belt loops from the waistband so that they're about 2 inches long. For my lining, I'm folding two layers of quilting cotton. Place one of the denim pieces on top matching the center folds and then carefully cut out the lining exactly the same size. On one side, Mark 13 inches down from the top and then mark on one side of the lining. Cut a small notch on all of the center folds. Fold the loops in half with wrong sides together. Clip one on the mark on the right side of the denim and then the other one on the right side of the lining. Make a crease down the center of the lining. For the inner pocket, cut a piece 10 inches wide by 12 inches long. With right sides together, fold in half lengthwise and then along the bottom edge, place clips about 4 inches apart for the opening. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, start at the top fold, back tack, Stitch until your quarter inch from the edge and with your needle down, lift your foot and pivot. Back tack at this first clip, skip over to the next one, back tack again and then stitch around and back tack to finish. Trim all the corners on an angle, making sure not to cut any of the stitching. Press all the seams open flat and then turn right side out. Use a knitting needle or a point turner to push out all the corners and then press around the edges again. With the opening at the bottom, top stitch across the top fold. Stitch quarter of an inch from the edge, back tacking at the start and finish. On the right side of one of the linings, mark 4 inches down from the center. Fold the pocket in half and with the top edge on that mark, line it up along the center crease and pin it in place. Next, we'll tack the loops in place and edge stitch around the pocket. With the denim pieces right sides together, clip around the straight edges. Repeat with the lining and we'll be leaving an opening on the side. You can place double clips there as a reminder. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, stitch the three sides back tacking at each end. Repeat for the lining, just make sure to leave that opening. Press all the seams open flat for both pieces. To box out all the corners, open up, match the seams and the edges and clip together. Clip the top of the straps with right sides together and then repeat for the denim. Stitch across the top of the straps and the bottom corners, back tacking at the start and finish. Press open the seams on the straps. Turn the lining right side out and then place inside the denim. 
Now with right sides together, match that top seam and the center notches and clip all around one side of the strap. Leave this side for now, we'll just sew around this side with the clips. Use a quarter inch seam allowance, there's no need to back tack, just overlap the stitching a little bit to finish. I'm just turning to the lining side so it's easier to see. Cut small notches all around about halfway into the seam and about an inch apart. Make sure not to cut into the stitching. Turn the bag inside out so that you see the right side of the lining. We now have to sew the other side of the strap. Just take note of the center notches. Go in through the opening, fold the edges in so that you can grab them with right sides together. Hold tight and pull through the opening. Clip together at the notches, then pull out more of the strap and clip the edges together up towards that top seam. As you're clipping, push the other side of that strap out of the way. Match the seams at the top and clip together. Stitch together starting from the top seam using a quarter inch seam allowance. When you reach the center notches, have your needle down and pull out the other side of the strap. Now from that top seam, clip the edges together towards the center. Continue stitching and overlap to finish. Cut small notches again all around this seam and then turn the bag out to the right side of the lining. Match the folded edges of the opening, edge stitch to close, back tacking at the start and finish. Adjust and center the seams of the strap and then top stitch quarter of an inch all around on both sides, back tacking at the start and finish. You can use that inner loop to hang your keys or ear pods and use the outer loop for a bag charm. Thanks again for watching, take care and happy sewing! <music>